Hello there everyone and welcome back for another map mod review. Today I have a very nice map to review for you. This is the FS19 Michigan map version 2.0. File size for this is 433 megabytes and there's 32 fields on this map. What I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding this map. We'll go over and take a look and see if there's any extra fruit types. Take a look at the field sizes and prices as well as the sell points. We'll take a look at your starting fleet. Then lastly we'll take a tour of the map. So let's get started. Okay, here we are over on the map. This will be your starting position right here. Once again, this is the FS19 Michigan map version 2.0. File size for this map is 433 megabytes and there's 32 fields on this map. Four in which you own. We'll take a look at them in a second. So we'll take a look at the map. Beautiful map. Nice big square rectangular fields. You got these four fields down here. The field 12, 20, 29, and 30. There's your main location right here your vehicles are going to be mostly located over here we have a BGA over here there is the downtown core and we are going to take our little tour shortly as you can see there's no extra fruit types unfortunately so I will now give you the prices of the smallest and biggest field that way you can tell what's in between those now unfortunately it doesn't list the uh, sizes of these fields the only ones that it lists the sizes for are the ones on contract if you can find a field here and you can find out your acreage there or your hectare size but if they're not on here unfortunately the two fields I'm looking at are not listed here so I can't go by that so the smallest field on the map is field 22 over here and that will cost you hundred ninety nine thousand three hundred twenty dollars and the biggest field on the map is field 16 right here and that'll cost you one million thirty seven thousand two hundred and eighty dollars so we'll go over to the next window here. We'll take a look. We have 13 different cell points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and one more down below is 13. I notice there's a McDonald's on this map. That's kind of cool. But they only buy eggs, it looks like. Yeah, maybe they can update that to take potatoes too. That would be kind of neat. So I find still a lot of the maps are a little bare bones at the moment, but... Once this game's been out for a little while and the modding gets down, they'll start filling in these maps a little better, but it is a very nice map. So one other thing I should mention about this, there is no errors coming up in the log as far as I can see, but in his footnotes for the version 2.0 update, he has one thing written there that I should mention, and it says the sawmill logging triggers are still broke in version 2.0 due to a giant's error. So it looks like he's on top of it. He's going to fix that as soon as he can. But please keep that in mind in case you run into that problem and you're wondering what's going on. So let's go over and we'll take a look at the starting fleet. See what equipment you get to start with. Looks like you get all kinds of John Deere equipment here. Very nice. We got two of the John Deere 6135Ms. We have a 7230R. And we have a Harvester T560. Looks like we've got a pickup truck as well as a small tipper. We have a regular header for a harvester and a corn header. Looks like we have a cedar and a cultivator. We have a bigger cedar here. Very nice. Then we got a large green silo. A couple of uh, placeables over here. We got some easy sheds with three and a one. We got a farm storage barn. We got a farm garage as well as a farm house. So you got a pretty good start there. Looks like you're sticking to the uh, John Deere theme. So let's go and we'll begin our tour of the map. So I think we'll start right here on the main farm. Let me bring up my HUD here. You can see all 32 fields there. You can see where we're located almost in the middle, right on the left of field nine there. Take a look at the immediate surrounding areas. There's where you can get some fuel. You got a few places you can store things around here as well as a place you can sell your vehicles. All kinds of storage. Okay, more storage. All kinds of storage here on the main farm. Now, it almost looks like there was a building here at one time and he kind of moved it because this grass is just kind of dead. But we have some mowable grass over here. For the most part, the map is fairly flat. So here's kind of the second part of your farm over here. You'll see that most of your equipment is located pretty close to here. Where was the equipment? Oh, actually, it's over on the other little corner there. Might as well keep going over to the side here. There's a couple of places for uh, placeables, too. Nice little spots. Get a farmyard here. Very nice. Look at this cage. Huh. I didn't notice that my first time through. Nice 
Nice little setup. All kinds of grass to mow as well. Might as well keep coming down the south here. There we go. I thought we can go a little bit faster. Nice square fields. I love that. Got a little lake over here. Coming across the south of the map. There is a forestry area. I just don't think we hit it yet. Let me get a little bit more air here so I can see where we're at. Okay. A couple of drop-offs. We got a Frito-Lay place down there. I'd imagine they buy your potatoes. There's a drop-off there. Drop-off there. Very nice. Some more vehicle storage. Another drop-off down there. Frito-Lay. Very nice. Okay. Looks like we can get some fuel down below. Some more vehicle storage down there. Place to sell your vehicles. Yeah, there's a large forestry section right on over here. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I mean, it's not ginormous, but it's pretty big. Plus, there's other little places around the map. You'll see little places like this. You can do some logging as well. Oh, we got this nice little field in here. Coming across the map to the east coast. You can see we got traffic down there. There's also trains on this map. So here is where your, most of your vehicles are. We got some grain storage down below. Keep heading up the west coast or the east coast here, I should say. We're coming into the downtown core. Another little storage place here coming up on the uh, biogas, the BGA. Very nice. Okay. What's this company down here? Williams Cheese. We got a uh, train going by there. There is the dairy, which also has a trigger for selling milk, I would imagine. There's a drop off over there. There's a little place here. What's that called? Oh, yeah, that's the Double D Ranch. Very nice. Nice little ranch there. Train station. You can uh, drop off grain there. Pick it up. In Napa. Another little place down there. You can drop off stuff. We have a bank. There is a petrol station as well as a water tower. You got a John Deere dealership here. There's our friendly McDonald's down below. We have a tractor supply company. Another grain silo. What's that called? Gavilon. And Applebee's down below. And here, yeah, here's your main sawmill here. That looks like more of the cell point there. And as you can see, there's trees scattered in all about the map. Here's another little forestry section here. Get all kinds of logging done. And that pretty much wraps it up for the map. Let's bring it on back to the homestead. And we'll wrap this up. So, there you have it, folks. That was the FS19 Michigan map, version 2.0. File size for that was 433 megabytes, and there's 32 fields on this map. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen, and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day, and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that. If you'd like to help and contribute to the channel, it really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.